we are out here on Rancho today, partly because I want to take Shadow for a hunt, and we haven't done too much with the Retrievers as of late, so plenty of small game out here for that, but also partly because some of the potential trophies out here are still among my favorites in the entire game, namely rare rooster pheasants and rare antelope jackrabbits. So we're going to head out for a hunt, see what we can find out here in multiplayer, and maybe we can find something to add to our trophy lodge. So, in all likelihood, a decent percentage of our hunt will be spent doing this, just trying to get some pheasants and apparently shooting at dead ones as we go. But we can send Shadow to go and get that and we can continue on our hunt. So where we're going right now is down to like the southwest corner. I find that to be pretty good. And since the changes, and I still think of them as new changes, even though they're nearly two years old now, when Revan Tuli came out, it's actually a good spot for Whitetail. And it just so happens it is Whitetail drink time in this server. So starting off with a gold pheasant and we'll go see what's hanging out down around this lake. Now the issue with this lake, like most on Rancho, it is huge and it takes forever to actually cover the entire thing. I think we've pretty much gotten through almost all of it. That's the best buck we've seen. And I mean, yeah, all the way up there at the end, which maybe is just out of render, would be like the last spot we haven't checked. That's right about 300 though, and we know with the 44 lever action, the first mill dot down on the Hyperion scope is basically dead on at 300. Looks like it hit right in the crease. That's going to bring him down. Don't dive in the water is the only thing I ask because that would take literally 12 years till it floats over here. But a little bonus kill as we go along. And the nice thing is there are a lot of pheasants, turkeys, antelope, jackrabbit, all that stuff down in this area too. Nothing that has been all that big so far, but it's just those type of opportunity kills we can potentially have while we're actually focusing on one particular thing. So after all the miles we put on it just to get around this lake, a 213 score in gold. Did get a little high there double lung, but worked out with the 44. And let's kind of take a look here. We could, let's actually do that. Let's go north up to this lake. I never hunt it that way. Normally I'll spawn at this lodge and go south. Maybe it kind of works out. Maybe we can flush some pheasants and turkeys and stuff out of the brush on the way up. I'm really not sure how this will be, what the visibility is going to be like on our way till we get to the lake, but we'll try it. So, we kind of went from a specific plan to just waltzing around Rancho and hoping for the best. I think we got both of those. We'll just send Shadow to go and get them. But we're way down here in the south now, just kind of running around looking for anything we might be able to encounter. It is Bighorn drink time, and literally in our last video, we killed an albino Bighorn, so I'm not as concerned about going after them. And I figured instead we'd make the most of rest and feed times for other stuff. So the one that we shot blind was just a little level one female. The male, at least there was a chance that that could have been a gold. And by the time Shadow gets over there, we can as well. That one is a silver at 4.72, so just missed out on gold. But I like these things. They definitely are in very different areas than they used to be. I think they're a lot harder to hunt, at least in large numbers than they used to be. So when we encounter them, we'll definitely try to get what we can. You know, it's probably been a thing at some point, but I'm not sure we've ever seen a level one male bighorn. And if we have, almost certainly, we've never put one in our hall of shame. So as we just kind of run around, we're going to try to catch up to that and maybe get a shot. A little bit of an opening there. and We do have the 44. So even though that angle is kind of rough, that had a chance. He slowed up. And then he kind of started going again right when we shot. A lot of very unimpressive rams around here. So I'm curious if that's going to bring him down. It depends what it hit. Wanted to get a follow-up shot in there and just didn't really get it lined up. Now, I never did click on the initial blood, but it's a medium bleed rate. So I'm guessing maybe intestines. I'm not sure. Yeah, we end up losing the metal. It was in the intestines. But even still, he would have been 79, which is well shy of the silver mark. So it kind of sucks he's not technically a bronze male because we messed it up. But we'll still put that in the Hall of Shame. Like I said, a species I don't think we have in there. And considering the lack of big males of any kind as we've hunted along, our first Lodge Edition ends up being a level 1. So one of the things I've been waiting on is Mule Deer Drink Time. And as you can see, there are a ton of bucks up here. But maybe for this spot, the least amount of max estimate males that I've ever seen. We got one four there and he's not particularly special, probably in the 250s, even though his bottom estimate is 249. So I think we'll pop him because the wind is not great. That's going to be a hard shot and we'll make sure nothing else runs out of here, but 
I'm kind of surprised just the pure amount of deer that are up in this area. And by the way, it's like the northeasternmost lake. It's always been a great spot for mule deer. I can't say I've ever seen such like a lackluster herd of bucks. On the bright side though, the one that we did get, we dropped in his tracks, 256, heart and double lung from that 44. And we'll maybe try a couple of other spots for them. We did pass through here. Nothing crazy special there. I think this spot tends to get mule deer as well, so let's give that a look. Finding mule deer certainly hasn't been a problem. Finding big ones, on the other hand? Little bit of a different story. This one's not max weight estimate, but it's pretty good sized. It's an interesting range too, like around 175. There is enough bullet drop there to maybe cause a problem. So we'll just keep that up around the shoulder blade. Looks like it dropped into a lung. And we get to go all the way around there yet. So we're down here at this lake. Nothing up here in Bosque Alto to speak of. And frankly, even down here like in the center of the map, I think that's the best buck we saw. Should at least be another gold anyway. 242 for him actually makes it by about 20. Lung, liver, stomach, so like I said, just keeping that up high for safety. And now it's got to be getting close to evening. It's 1700. So I guess we'll try to maybe move through some other areas, see what we can encounter. Because drink times so far really haven't been very helpful. Now we still haven't gotten to use the 22 until right now anyway. Those truncated rounds, if there's one thing that they have really changed the game with, it's being able to drop a turkey. Now do we have the glitch with the retriever again? We do, so part of the reason for shooting that was to send a shadow after it and continue on our hunt, but it seems like maybe just, you know, we didn't use the Bloodhound that often, so I didn't notice it, but it seems like so far every multiplayer hunt, we're a little over two hours into this one, seems like Shadow gets that glitch. 4.39 for that, lung shot, so it certainly helped that we actually hit the lung, but even without the organ hits, those truncated rounds kill the turkeys a lot faster, which is kind of nice because it was sort of bizarre before to shoot them and let them go like sometimes two three hundred meters before they drop it is kind of cool to see everything just out here you know not in drink zones i'm surprised this zone has been discovered because as far as i know this is a place like nobody hunts so we have the 223 ar and i've been wanting to use it there is a level 7 coyote out here and the only concern is it's kind of hopping around there in its feed zone so i think for the sake of trying to get a good clean shot, well that spooked him. Now we get a good clean shot maybe on the trot if we're lucky. See if he'll sort of slow down. The good news is, there's a lot of room in there. Must have shot just a touch too far forward. Should get even one more opportunity. We're going to keep on scooting in a little bit closer to get hopefully right at 150. And at least a holdover is not a concern. The only problem is, getting up there far enough but it might still need a holdover. Now he's going straight away. Well, we hit him. Might have gotten him decently, I can't tell. There's a whole bunch of blood there, so I guess we did. I'm curious, I thought the second shot missed. So I'm curious to see if that's actually what happened. He's laying right over there. So after all of that, I think we still got a gold coyote out of it. Let's actually take a look. One hit right through the back of the right lung. Gold at 51.41, I believe that says. Not too bad. So I did want to show it. I'm not sure if it's been fixed, but this lodge used to not be a part of the ones that you had to discover to unlock the entire map. It didn't show up on the lookout icons. Like when you went to a lookout, this lodge icon didn't come up on the map. You kind of just had to stumble into it. There were a couple of those lodges on the map. I'm not sure if that ever changed. But it's a good little spot here. Coyotes. I've found a lot of antelope jackrabbits in the past here. Obviously whitetail, turkeys. There's a bunch of stuff down here. And like I said, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that that zone was discovered because I never see that. Well, we've had a time reset here. It is now early morning again. But unfortunately, not a lot of luck. We do have a level 4 pronghorn that's the max weight estimate. Probably going to be in the mid 80s range. But I think we'll go ahead and try to pop him. We should be in the region of 150. Do this maybe before he starts trotting. Looks like we got him in the lungs. And that I think is going to be our last kill. One thing that I found really interesting about Rancho, going honestly way back before the Revan changes, I think it was the changes that were implemented to try to fix 
frame rates on consoles because it was really bad. Like the amount of animals that would congregate in these areas, it caused consoles to run at like 10 FPS. But since that time, I think Rancho has gone from one of the easiest maps to get diamonds on to maybe one of the hardest. It's pretty consistent when we go out here. We don't end up getting a diamond, but the good news is we did get a Hall of Shamer and we did get a bonus pheasant here and unfortunately Shadow can't retrieve it because she is still glitched. But with two potential golds to wrap up, our 84.25 pronghorn double lunged at 175 and our pheasant, which I think went up to 16 or something like that. Make sure level 3 turkey's not going to fly out of here. That was right here, 14.06 silver. We'll go back and take a look at our Hall of Shame Bighorn. Now, where we might place this thing could be another matter. I realize, though, we've got a couple of old bronze blacktail here. And that one up above is just obviously smaller than this. And I gotta imagine we have a true rack one somewhere, because the true rack's bronze blacktail now are way smaller than that. This, though, for a bighorn ram is pretty darn shameful and I think fits perfectly into the theme of this whole lodge. So at least getting to add something and like I said Rancho just is a tough map as of late and it's always good to get out there. I really enjoy like going for the pheasants, antelope, jackrabbit, all that stuff. A good time no matter what and nice to add something to one of our trophy lodges. But anyway that's gonna do it for this video so as always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.